Borderlands is all about building on what's happened before to build a stronger product next time. Like with any Borderlands game, it's a game that you can sort of play with some friends and sort of just hang out and, and, and have a fun time with and not take terribly seriously because it's a game that doesn't take itself all that seriously. The first rule of drama is put interesting characters together and let them interact. And I think that's one of the things that Borderlands is very good at. We really want to kind of move the industry forward in a lot of ways. A lot of the things that were still kind of lingering that just needed to get out of us after we'd finished Borderlands 2 were able to get into Borderlands the pre-sequel. Between Borderlands 1, we just had a huge number of weapons. And when Borderlands 2 showed up, we said, okay, well, what are we going to do to keep the weapons fresh and interesting? We realized that what we needed to do was diversify them on another level. We needed to make the manufacturers more distinct. It was like, okay, well, what gun fantasy are we not hitting? We have Tor, and they're all about explosions. They're about feeling like you're an Arnold Schwarzenegger in an 80s action movie. Tdor is like you're buying guns from Walmart. How can we make this the cheapest feeling gun possible? And we added the idea that when you reload it, you throw it and it explodes. Doll is, is guns for the career soldier, for the mercenary who wants a really, really reliable gun that doesn't have a lot of recoil. Jacobs is basically guns for cowgirls or cowboys. Molly Wan are guns that are basically all about elemental effects. They, they, they're supposed to feel really sleek and sexy and very, very sci-fi. Gladiff was stayed the most pure to what it was, which is it's all about rapid fire rate being the most just firing a lot of bullets. We're going to have like some lean. Like, you know, with home, it might be sort of more lasers. Misha, maybe more kind of Jacob-style pistols, maybe some kind of benefits there. But we don't want to lock people in. We definitely want to make people feel free to use whatever weapon they feel is going to be most entertaining to use. I don't know how they managed to get two Borderlands games in and not have lasers. The opportunity for us to be the guys that bring lasers to Borderlands, it's awesome. So laser guns are in and of themselves an entire weapon type. So there's four main manufacturers that have laser weapon types. As you move between the different laser manufacturers, it completely changes the type of weapon. Malawan is the traditional Ghostbusters style beam weapon. Dahl is the blaster style, so think of your Star Wars Stormtrooper. Hyperion is more kind of like a railgun, so single shot, high damage, very accurate. And Tidior is kind of like a split beam, kind of like a laser shotgun. Elemental effects apply to all the weapons, so you can totally get a cryo laser where you're shooting at an ice beam freezing a guy and shattering him in one go. Every laser has a different identity, just similar to Borderlands 2, that makes finding new ones an exciting experience. Now Crave Director, if we ever have a meeting that isn't about lasers, I think he actually gets a little tear in his eye. He's so excited about lasers whenever we talk about them. It's really fun for me to play a game where I'm playing a Borderlands game and finding guns that I don't know what they're going to do before I pick them up. It's very entertaining. Wait, why the hell are we playing this kid's game? Oh, you know, maybe because shut the hell up, Morty! Fans are probably pretty uh, knowledgeable about Borderlands and, and post-launch support, and this game's gonna be no different. We're sort of talking a little bit about what else we could do. We wanna have some more content-based DLC. We sort of wanna, we're still finishing up the game, so we haven't got too deep into that. But we have had a history of supporting DLC and I think really badass DLC. Tiny Tina you know, really showed what you can do with a DLC pack, and we're interested to explore things like that, you know, where we, we really turn things on their head and then just have a lot of fun with what we do with the, the DLC packs. There's two things. There's two things that make Borderlands special. And one of them is math. You can, you can figure out fun with math. There's a lot of the design, a lot of the gameplay, a lot of what happens is understanding where the fun is in the numbers. Borderlands is a, is a surprisingly awesome and successful franchise, and I can say that because I didn't work on the first game. I just really, really enjoyed it as a player. Even then, I sort of felt like there was something special here. There's something that the guys that made this game latched onto that was just smart as hell and really unpretentious. One thing I've learned in my career making video games is when you're working with a group of talented people, whatever they're most passionate about, they're gonna make it great. One of the most important aspects of the development of this was to let the folks that are creating the game be part of the process. So it's really interesting collaboration. It's been interesting. It's, uh, this project has evolved a lot since it's originally started and people have gotten more excited and more excited as we've seen what it's grown into. Then it's like, wow, we're you know, making a full on real Borderlands game, which is to people like me who are huge fans of the franchise, it's just really exciting. It's just great to see 
the fruits of our labor kind of really coming together. We're just getting to the point where it's really excited and we just can't wait to kind of get it out there and, and see what the public thinks. My hope is when we've launched Borderlands the pre-sequel, that maybe, maybe between our own minds and the people now, now down in 2K Australia, maybe some new exciting ideas will emerge for the future. And that, that is thrilling. It's the passion and the craziness and the freedom of the people who work here and letting them take this universe and make it their own, every one of them.